welcome to day... I don't even know what day it is. Day something, probably about day 12-ish of Vlogmas and day 5 of no heating in the house. A current, according to my thermostat, it is currently 11 degrees up here. Oh dear, it's chilly. Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new day of Vlogmas. This is the face of someone who has been awake since half past three this morning. Don't ask me what woke me up at half past three, I don't know. But I checked my phone, saw the time, and I was like, you know what? Now would be a really good time to catch up on my Vlogmas editing. <laughs> so I'm now actually caught up with my editing. Previously, I was two days behind. So I always just felt like there was a cloud of editing requirements <laughs> hanging over my head. But now I'm up to date and I feel good. I also feel good because today is a Bista Village shopping day. I'm going to meet Em, Emily and Freddie and we are going to have a love- Ooh, I've just realised I need to get Freddie's pink knit that I borrowed last week. Um, I need to go and get that and take it back to her. I've got on my lovely Isabel Moran jumper. I just wanted cosy vibes today. I've got these fabulous boots from Churches On um, and it's just a really practical outfit. Hair scraped back. I think it's going to start raining later, so I just thought there's no point in doing beautiful curls in my hair or anything. But I have jazzed up my outfit with some lovely jewellery, so let me prop you up on the windowsill or something. Or do I leave my hair down today? These are day two curls, but they're not actually that bad, but I still think I'm going to get rained on. <sighs> I'm going to end up tying up my hair <laughs> so I can concentrate on shopping. Anyway, jewellery, so I have some of my absolute favourites from Astrid and Mew on today. It is, as I always say, my favourite way of dressing up a super cosy outfit. If I'm wearing casual trousers and a chunky knit, I like to really carefully consider my jewellery. So let's start with rings. On this hand here I have got the Glimmer Dome Ring. The Glimmer collection has been one of my favourites that I would say they have ever done. Um, the Glimmer Dome Chunky Earrings are just so lovely, in my opinion maybe a little bit more evening-y. Um, I'm wearing the kind of skinnier version now but the chunkier version are on my Josie's edit page on Astrid and Mia, which I'll show you on the screen here. You can click that to see all of my favourites. So that is the Glimmer... Oop. So that's the Glimmer dome ring. And then my usual stacking rings. I hope most of these are still in stock. We've got the one here, which is just like the... Um, do you call it pave? The back-to-back -back gemstones. Um, the slightly organic shaped ones and then this ring here is from the Celestial collection. My chunky dome um, pearl ring and then this one is the glimmer stacking ring. I've also got on my round chain bracelet. This is one of my favourites that I've had for probably just over a year now. I believe this is still in stock and I think you can get it in silver and rose gold as well. Most if not all of these pieces are also made from recycled silver and then they're either rose gold or um, gold plated. So yes, earrings are from the Glimmer collection as well. And then, what necklace am I wearing today? Ah, this is my Sagittarius um, star sign necklace. Obviously you can get whatever your star sign is. One of my longtime favourites. But I've got a couple more of my favourites that I believe are still in stock. Oh, and before I forget, Astrid and Mew have a very kindly extended discount code, which is Josie20. I will leave on the screen how long it's valid for not long and these pieces are selling out really quickly so I would recommend that you make the most of it. Pause the video, <laughs> check the links in the description box and um, head over to Astrid and Mia website now. But they're also doing, I noticed, flash sales this week so keep an eye. I'd follow them on Instagram um, because they always post their flash sales there but if you need a little bit more inspo, a few of my other favourites, obviously the Celestial... Um, so that's a question <laughs> collection. I love the Celestial Signet Ring. Um, I don't think it really goes with what I'm wearing today though. And then came very close to wearing these earrings today. Another of my favourites. I loved this collection. I think these are so perfect for those that maybe want to add a little bit of Celestial to their look. But without going too overboard. It's like a, a pave um, kind of diamond hoop. And then you've got the little star underneath. 
I think they're beautiful. And then, oh, maybe I'll swap to these, actually. These have been such a huge favourite of mine. You might remember I spoke about these. These are the Ara hoops. I spoke about these in my Black Friday video. And I say diamond, by the way. It's diamond in inverted commas. Astrid and Mew use cubic zirconia, which is literally as sparkly as diamonds, but it means that they can be that perfect price point. So the Ara hoops in the gold. So again, recycled silver coated in gold without my discount code, full price, these are £65, and obviously if they were diamond, they'd be like £6,050, um, but I'll just quickly actually show you how these look, because they really are quite spectacular. I put them in the wrong way around when I first wore them. Is that going to be right? I think maybe it's the other one. These also look so divine if you have got multiple piercings. They look so fabulous, stacked, as do all, <laughs> as do the Mew pieces, to be honest. Um, yeah, you can see, kind of, it's always very hard showing your earrings, but you can see that the diamond, the cubic zirconia, just catches the light, and yet it's really subtle as well. So absolutely love those. And if, like me, you were always a little bit too chicken to get extra piercings, Obviously, Astrid and Mew are known for their fabulous ear cuffs. So you can just take one of these, push it onto your ear, and instantly you look like a cool girl, <laughs> which is exactly what I wanted to achieve. So um, I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you in my little box of favourites. So yeah, Josie 20. Yeah, I'm going to tie my hair back now so that I can concentrate on driving. And speaking of driving have something very exciting to share with you but i'm not going to tell you about it i'm going to show you so um let's get going <laughs> Sadly, this is not my new car. <laughs> I will start off by saying that. Aston Martin emailed me a few months ago and asked if I would like to borrow a car. And as you know, I'm testing a few fabulous vehicles at the moment to see which car I would like to purchase. Um, this is, this is my first time ever driving an Aston Martin before. This is the DBX and the shade, which I'm sure you'll agree is just quite spectacular, is called Golden Saffron. I think it's so perfect for this time of year. I, this is literally, I have only been inside an Aston Martin. Mm, have I been in a friend's Aston Martin before? I don't, I've sat in Ben's Aston Martin before. I have sat in a friend's Aston Martin before, um, but I've never driven one. So I feel like I can't really tell you much about it until I have driven somewhere. So I've just plugged my phone in. Um, I'm gonna pop Vista Village in the satellite navigation system. It has got, ooh, that's gonna take me a bit longer than I thought. <gasps> Whoops, I'm meant to be meeting the girls there at nine o'clock. It's currently 9.05. No, it's 9.11. <gasps> ooh. This is what the area down here looks like, and by the way, I put my Astrid and Mew dome ring on because I was talking about it and then I thought, you know what, I want to wear that today, so I've added my beautiful dome ring on. Um, right, sat nav. Okay, home, Apple Play, oh, no, Apple Play, yes. Okay, I'm driving through a very slow village, so I thought I would give you my first impressions. Um, short story, I'm in love. <laughs> and I definitely want one. Oh my goodness. This car is beautiful to drive. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't give you, um, when you put your foot down, which I obviously haven't been able to do very much because I'm driving on little country lanes at the moment, but when you put your foot down, it doesn't like chuck you back. You know, sometimes powerful cars can throw you back. It just very elegantly and quickly, you don't get me wrong, but very gracefully picks up speed and also the brake is really soft so it's it's a very smooth ride um, it's actually the most beautiful day and I can't help but feel that driving through these lanes this car just looks beautiful I'm actually jealous of people that get to drive past this car and see it because it is just such a beauty and it's just one of those really nice creamy soft mornings um, slight negative I couldn't get the car play to work um, it didn't recognize my phone on the Bluetooth and my wire, it's actually a really cheap wire so I think maybe it could, the, could be the fault of my wire. 
so I'm basically having to just try to remember the way to Bista, which I'm pretty sure I can, um, and I'm listening to Classic FM instead of my usual playlist, which is no big deal. Um, the steering wheel is quite small, sorry I don't know if this clip is even going to be usable. The steering wheel is quite small, which I really like, um, compared to our Defender for example, that feels like a big chunky steering wheel. This one feels a little bit more elegant. It's a, it's a big car, it's a five door, um, it's obviously nowhere near as big as our Defender. I feel like it's kind of an in the middle car, like if you want something bigger and more family than you know, like a typical hatchback. Is that what you call them, hatchback? I think so. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. I think I turn right here. Can you see the stitching? So it's all this matte black leather, which is really beautiful. I probably would go for like a cream or a brown leather, personally. I'm not doing very well here, and I don't even know if this clip will be usable because you're just balanced on the dashboard and it's probably very noisy. Um, but yeah, it's got a matte black leather and it's got gold, kind of orangey gold stitching, which looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and the noise that this car makes, you may not be able to hear it now, but even when you're just crawling along like I'm doing now, it's just such an elegant is the word that I want to use to describe this car. Like, can you tell I'm just absolutely in love with this? Um, I am a bit of a car nerd. I do love cars. Um, I feel like we were just so attached to our Mazda for so long that we never, we never even considered getting a more luxury vehicle. And now obviously Charlie's got the Defender. So I'm like, what am I going to, what am I going to get? Um, and yeah, safe to say this is now a very strong contender. As I was saying, the noise, even right now, just going at 22 miles an hour down the most beautiful country lanes, it's like growling, not growling, it's purring. It's like, a, it's like Mufasa is whispering to me. <laughs> I'm in love, it's beautiful, it's a dream to drive. I've only been driving it for 20 minutes, um, but it's a pleasure. I don't wanna give it back to Aston Martin. Sorry guys, I might do a runner with this beautiful car. Um, but yeah. I'll see you at Vista. Okay, if I'm being very, very picky, three things that I don't love about this car. Firstly, and I'm sure this is something that Aston Martin users, owners will say is no big deal. The neutral drive, reverse and park buttons are up here. I'll show you when, when I get there. Um, and I feel like I have to really reach over to get to them. Number two that I don't love is that the, the buttons to push down um, the window are quite far back. So I feel like I have to do like a chicken arm um, to get to the window buttons. That would just annoy me probably in the long term. I wish it was just a little bit further forward. Maybe it's to do with the design of the door, which is a beautifully designed door. I'll show you more of that later. And number three, in this dash section where the speed and the everything else is, it's really plasticky. Um, and it sounds, sounds like the kind of plastic that a Pret sandwich would come in. I'm sorry, that's really brutal. Um, but that's just three really minor observations. Would they stop me from buying this car? No. Overall, still, this car is just divine. Um, but yeah, three little things just to balance out my very glowing review so far of the Aston Martin DVX in golden saffron. Oh, golden saffron. We made it. I have been coming to Bista for probably, probably 10 years, if not more. And I always thought the address was Pringle Drive, but it's only now listening to my sat nav. It's Pingle, Pingle Drive, not Pringle Drive. Anyway, we made it. That was the most wonderful drive. Um, now I need to give the girls a ring because I'm an hour and four minutes later than I said I was going to be here, but I think they've already gone ahead and got themselves a coffee and booked in slots with the designer boutiques. I think we've got Gucci, we've got Dior. It's always worth booking ahead because unless you get here super early, especially this super busy time of year, it can be quite challenging um, to get a slot. But anyway, I'm going to park up. Then it's time to shop. I don't know what this does. Something that a lot of sports cars have, but I don't know what it does. Shall I just pull it and say? Oh. Oh god. 
god. Oh, sheesh kebabs. It's changing the mode. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> it's like in Dexter's lab. What does this button do? Probably not ideal doing that while driving. If you're lost, you can look and you will find Dexie. Time after time. Is there anywhere to park on this festive shopping day? Festive shopping day. Festive shopping day. Okay, made it. It's still nice and quiet. As always, my top tip is to come to Vista early. I think I'm meant to be wearing a mask. Everyone else is wearing a mask. Okay, I'm gonna pop one on now. Um, Freddie's already told me that she's seen a Chanel bag in the designer exchange. And apparently they're all in Chloe. Oh, I can see my breath. Okay, I'm gonna mask up and um, catch up with the gals. Well, considering it is due to be pouring with rain, it's actually rather glorious, a little bit chilly, naturally, heading into Soho Home. This is my first time going into their new store. Vicky has asked me to look for a couple of, um, Vicky's asked me to look out for a couple of cushions for her. So let's see what they've got, anything new? So if you're in the need for some home furnishings, they have got a plenty. I think Charlie would quite like these. So let's have a look at the prices. 120 down to 80 and I think you get an extra 10% off with your membership These are really nice gifts. They're quite like Tom Dixon s. We've got a few of these at home and they smell gorgeous um, And then we've got a few of these at home as well. This is 55 down to 33 for the plant pots And I always used to love this set when they had it in Babington house it's so pretty And it's literally the fluffiest I know. I've ever, ever what owned. Can you, what does it say? It's like a sage one. That's, these are literally the ones that we use at Straw Top Cottage. 85 down to 56. I was so impressed with the classic bits that they've got in Burberry. This is rather lovely. With a very soft leather lapel. Beautiful. What is the discount like in here today? Well, this was originally 4550 I'm not sure the outlet price. My darling has found something very elegant and beautiful. What made you pick this one, darling? I've got one and I never wear it because it's coloured a bit. Oh! The one you've got is a bit warmer toned, isn't it? It's more Yeah. Mm. That, oh, that is gorgeous. That is really cute. You need to learn how to do that. But, but what about your existing one? Would you sell it? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Upgrade. Yeah. Very nice. Can I do anything with your classics? We've all fallen a little bit in love with the cream scarf. 420 down to 225. So beautiful. We've popped into Dior. We've got some nice boots in here. I'm just obsessed with shielding boots at the moment. They look rather snugly. And then um, some classic brown knee high boots. Very nice. What a glorious day. I've noticed a few of these signs around today. So, this is um, stuff that's obviously in their normal boutiques. So, it's current season, not discounted. But I guess it makes sense having things like this here, like their best sellers, because this store is definitely busier than I would say most white company stores. They might as well. Have their best sellers in here even though it's not this to discount we've popped into mulberry and i'm just a little bit in love with this sparkler i have been looking for a gorgeous new evening bag and there's also a really beautiful sparkly bag behind the counter this one is 895 down to 448 so pretty much half price and it's so sparkly okay oh i see it's saying that they're not in stock That's okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Fresh Order. warm donuts. That's fantastic. <gasps> uh, contact us, crab please. Thank you. Fresh donuts. I always love to get an oat milk chai latte at Oliphant's. And I noticed that they had fresh donuts. They literally got them straight out of the um, donut machine. He asked me what kind of sugar I wanted. 
raspberry, normal or cinnamon. I've got cinnamon. And this is a raspberry and passion fruit jam inside. And oh my goodness, it is so fresh and so delicious. And yes, I did buy the gold sparkly bag in Mulberry. I will show you this later on, but now while the girls are in Michael Kors, I'm going to enjoy my donut. fillers for Charlie and Sunspell. Well, they do have some pretty good bits in Charlotte Tilbury. Airbrush of Flawless Bronzer. home again as you can see and before I disrobe and show you what I purchased at Vista Village I wanted to quickly show you my outfit of the day because I have realized that by the time you're watching this my Josie 30 code for theory so yes that's 30% off will be live um, and today I'm wearing the gorgeous wool sorry cashmere very very classic and timeless tr trench coat from theory and also these gorgeous very countryside style trousers. I've been wearing these so much. They're perfect for winter days. Um, really flattering and great for that kind of countryside attire. The jumper is Isabel Moron and the boots are uh, Church's. And then I've had my Chloe bag with me as well. But yes, 30% off with Josie 30 for the trench and the trousers. Um, and they also have lots of amazing sales on the website as well. So I'll leave these pieces linked down below. And now, as you can see behind me, we have got some shopping. So first of all, we have got this giant bag here from Soho Home. And as you may know, we basically have the sage green Soho house dressing gowns dressing gowns at the cottage um, and we thought it'd be useful to get some backups just in case you know anything gets spilt on them or anything happens so they were such a good price that I got four backup robes for the cottage <laughs> and then my bag from Mulberry my little treat not so little treat for myself today so it was actually Freddy that spotted this bag and I think I mentioned maybe even this morning that I have been on the lookout for a beautiful new evening bag. Um, when I went to the wedding event a couple of evenings ago, I looked back at the photos that the professional photographers had taken and my old Mulberry Seaton bag, which is great for an everyday bag, was just... it just kind of looked saggy and <laughs> not very glamorous compared to all the other girls' bags. A lot of the other girls were borrowing Bulgari bags and they just looked so gorgeous. Maybe one day. Um, but yes, I spotted, sorry, Freddie spotted this one in Mulberry and I thought that is so very me and I thought the price was really good. So you do get the full experience at Vista. The shopping bag, the tissue paper and then the dust bag. And here it is. You saw it in the store, but here it is in all its glory. Now, I don't actually know the name of the style of this bag. I have a feeling it might be a Harlow, um, but it's quite structured. It's big enough for my phone, my vlogging camera, and some makeup. So I'm gonna take this with me tomorrow. I have a really exciting event in the evening tomorrow. Um, so yeah, pretty roomy. I love that you can hold it just by the top handle, or there is a little crossbody strap inside. So I've got the card that tells me that it's metallic leather and glitter, um, but nothing here tells me what the actual name of the bag is. So if anyone knows, please let me know down below. This was obviously after the time that I worked at Mulberry, otherwise I would be able to tell you. Um, but yeah, I think it is absolutely beautiful and it's going to be a very practical bag for evening wear and especially throughout the party season. So while I've been away, Charlie has taken delivery of some edible and drinkable treats that have, <laughs> that have arrived today, including this lovely selection from my absolute favorites at Mirabeau. They have very kindly sent us a top up of their rose dry gin and some fever tree tonics for us to enjoy over the next couple of weeks or so, and a couple of bottles of, of La Folie, which is their sparkling rose. Perfect for us to chill in the fridge, ready for when our friends and family arrive. And then this lovely hamper has arrived from Harvey Nichols. 
And inside, this would be such a nice gift idea. Just a really lovely selection of festive treats. What have we got here? Okay, I have decanted everything from the Harvey Nichols hamper. Sorry if you can hear the dogs going absolutely bonkers in the background. But it's a really lovely selection of traditional gift pieces and delicious treats. So we have got a little mini Christmas cake. That looks rather tasty. And then Christmas tea bags. I wonder what flavour these are, like a cinnamon tea or something? A cheeky Christmassy cuppa with, a warming, with warming spices on a black tea base. That actually sounds really, really lovely. And then we've got a mini Pandoro. I'm guessing that's going to be like a little panettone. Jingle balls, gin infused chocolate truffles with a hint of lemon and a festive fizz of popping candy. Oh my gosh, I bet they are delicious. What's this? A beautiful tube of Christmas biscuits, buttery biscuits with chocolate and salted caramel chunks. Oh my goodness. Uh, festive nutty brittle. I think this is a bar of super dark chocolate and the piece de resistance. This very lovely bottle of Harvey Nichols Champagne. Champagne Premier Cru Brut. What a gorgeous selection, Dexy. What a gorgeous selection of goodies. Thank you very much to Harvey Nichols and Mirabeau. <laughs> Yeah, she got stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the same position even though his bed's not there. Dex always gets the bigger trick.